Welcome back to Omni Garage. If you're new to the channel, one of the things that we like to do in Omni Garage is test out Ryobi's range of tools, uh, particularly the 18 volt range. We've got a really extensive tool uh, collection. Uh, so the two tools that we've got here to have a look at today are two in their inflator range. Now Ryobi make quite a few uh, different inflators. What we've got here is the high volume inflator. Um, and then this one here is uniquely named the inflator and deflator. Both of these tools are really similar in price. Uh, so I believe in New Zealand, it's $89 for this one here and $119 for the inflator deflator. Different use cases, um, although they're very similar tools, both of them can blow up to 150 PSI, but I use them a little bit differently. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at this one here first. So this is the high volume inflator. This is the analog version. So Ryobi now, as of uh, very late 2020, make a different version of this, which has a digital gauge, which I think would be quite beneficial uh, because I found in my experience, this gauge here is not uh, at all accurate. Um, although I do have, uh, you know, the other half of Omni Garage has the same tool and has found the, uh, the gauge is quite accurate. So a little bit hit and miss there. What's cool about this and the way that I use this machine is number one for blowing up tires, inflating those. Um, I just find it's quite ergonomical. You do have your retractable, well not retractable, but your, your cord here that does wind up. So I find with the chuck on the end here, it's quite an easy machine to go and uh, inflate tires. Um, what I've got is this paired with a 2.5 amp hour battery. Um, you know, I get ample run time out of these. I can go all the way around, blow up four tires. Um, obviously not from flat, and I have no issues with battery at all on here. What this does come with as well, if you have a look at the little storage area here, you do have a couple of attachments. So these just slide out, and then what we've got is an attachment that we can clip on, which is really handy for blowing up things like uh, rugby balls, soccer balls. Um, they just clip right into the end of the machine here. And this has got a different attachment on it right now. Pull that one out. And the way that this works with the chuck is pop it in, clip it closed, and then that's not going anywhere in there. So really handy machine, I find, to inflate things like this. So we've got a, uh, you know, a Kiwi icon, the rugby ball, pop that in there. But I find with the gauge not being completely accurate on here, what you will want to do is just do this by feel. <laughs> Easy as that, that rugby ball is all blowing up now. Um, but the main way I use this machine here is when I'm doing weekly maintenance checks on the car, inflating the tires. I know this back one here is a little bit, uh, little bit deflated at the moment. Um, generally, this is inflated up to 220 kPa. I know it's at about 198, 199. I just did a reading on this just before. Um, so what we'll do, we'll take that off there, pop those to the side. So it just attaches onto the wheel, pop it on, click it down, it's in place there. And I like this machine because now I do have ample room to move around with this. We've obviously got the tire and the gauge on the end here showing about 20, showing about 26 PSI on there at the moment. And obviously, as I said, the max is 150 on this machine here. So you'd be going for quite a long time to, uh, to blow anything up to 150 PSI. <laughs> So there we go, we're all inflated up. I find this really handy. You know, in the past, before I had this machine, I'd go down to the local petrol station and use their tools down there. Now I can do this from home. I don't have to leave anywhere. Um, and I've got the added benefit of having this around as well to blow things like rugby balls up um, when I do have those go flat. So I think this is a really handy tool to have, um, but I think it's something supplementary to this machine here. The key differences in these two machines, um, obviously one is size, this is handheld, whereas this is more of a pop it down and let it sit machine. Um, when you're using the high volume inflator, what you do have to do to have air output from this machine is hold the trigger. There's no locking mechanism at all on this one here. So what you do get with the inflator deflator is you've got a button on the top. Now, if you turn the button to this side, you're going to be operating this part of the, uh, the inflator deflator. If you flick it to the second setting, which the arrow faces this way, you're using a very similar tool to the high volume inflator, this one here. So what I'll do, I'll show you, you can clip this onto the tire. So you can use this for things like tires. 
because it is rated to 150 PSI. The way that you set this up though, obviously not having the trigger mechanism on the other machine, is you would simply pop it into, click the, click the button, and then you've got a little gauge on the top here, a little screen. And what you're doing, it's telling us right now, we're inflated to about 32 and a half PSI. So if you want to inflate this tire, you're just using the up and down. And we can go here, yeah, cycling through a wee way. But if we wanted to inflate this tire to 35 PSI, for instance, set it to 35. Oh, that's our current setting. There we go, so that will just auto inflate itself to the desired PSI that you put into the machine. So quite a handy option if you want to set and forget. Um, I do find while both of these do go to a max of 150 PSI, I find it's a lot quicker to blow up the tyres with this. Obviously this being a high volume inflator, um, that probably makes a difference. I did try and find some specs on this to find out what kind of air output it had, um, and there's really nothing available online. But I do find from my personal experience, if you're blowing up tyres, this is the machine that's going to do it a lot quicker for you. What I do like about this machine here is, number one, it's really nice and compact. Everything's stored on board. So obviously you've got your inflator on this side here. You've got your pump on this side. Um, and then if you turn it around as well, you do have onboard storage for all of your attachments. So obviously this side here is your pump. This is what you're going to be using if you're blowing up things like tyres. When you're doing things like airbeds as well, which is one of the things that I think this makes this tool so versatile, you'll be using this side and you'll be turning this switch. Um, and I think this is why uh, if you could only have one of these tools, I would probably buy this one uh, before I went and got the high volume inflator, um, just because of the fact that this is a multi-tool, you can use this to blow up your things like your airbeds, you can blow up tires, um, you can inflate balls. I think this is a really handy machine to have. And then I think what I'd do is I'd introduce this tool here, I'd buy this one second, um, and I'd use this pretty much solely for blowing up tires on your car because it is a little bit quicker. Um, but also this is quite handy and easy to get out if you are wanting to inflate things like, uh, you know, sport balls. Um, though when you're looking at the two different machines, one of the other advantages to the inflator deflator is the set and forget. You can simply click this on, set your desired pressure, and you can just leave it sitting there. If you were able to do the same with this machine here, you do have to hold the trigger because there is no locking mechanism on there. So the reason I've got both of these tools is the fact that they're grab and go. So using the existing 18 volt system uh, that I've already got many tools for, versus something like a compressor that you'd have to have plugged into a wall is bulky, I can simply pick one of these up, chuck a battery on it and throw it in the boot of the car if we're going away, um, where it's really easy to pull around the house. You know, if I wanted to blow something up in the backyard, I don't have to lug a power cable around with a compressor. Um, I've got a really nice compact machine. The two here, as I said, it's $119 for the inflator deflator. This one here is $89, so it's a little bit over 200 New Zealand dollars to get yourself both of these tools here. Versus a compressor, you know, entry-level compressor, you'd probably be looking at around that $250, $300 mark as well, whereas you get the full versatility out of these two machines here. So that pretty much wraps up a really quick overview of these two machines. If you do have any questions at all about them, feel free to drop a comment below. Otherwise, if you want to check out any of the other Roby tools that we've checked out on the channel, we've probably got about 20 to 30 of them, and we're slowly going through talking about some of the pros, the cons, and the, uh, the ways that we uh, incorporate these into the Omni Garage lifestyle. So make sure you hit subscribe, check out that playlist, and we'll see you guys in the next video.